Um, generally, your institution has done many transplants, which is something to be not as true as possible. Yes. How often do you do in transplants, though? Uh, we do about 25 uh, or so transplants a year, and we've been transplanting uh, at the Children's Hospital since 1999. And uh, Around the country, how many places are doing transplants in Bone Marrow? Hundreds. Um, Hundreds? They, 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 I, uh, there are probably uh, worldwide around 15,000 or more um, uh, transplants being done. Uh, and uh, typically there are centers throughout the United States uh, that are doing them. Uh, there are less pediatric centers uh, than there are adult centers, uh, but, but there are in almost every state and in every big city one or two transplant centers. If a child needed a transplant, how would they go about picking a place that you feel that would be the right place to go? What would you be looking for? I, I think what you want to look for is an experience center, uh, one that has relationship with the National Marrow Donor Program so that uh, you can easily obtain unrelated transplants if you need it, uh, and you want to have a center that's uh, close to home. If you live in the New York metropolitan area, that's a little bit easier. Um, uh, if you live in the, in, the, in the far west, that's not so easy. Uh, the patients need a lot of support, uh, so you want to find an excellent center that can provide support for the patient as well as the family uh, that's as close to home as possible so that uh, working parents parents with other children can take care of their children, but I think what you're really looking for are excellent, highly experienced clinicians um, with excellent and highly experienced staffs. Uh, the doctors only can do so much. Um, one of the key aspects of transplant it's a big is, team approach in oh, the is, is the, the nursing care, uh, the psychological support uh, that has to be given, and, uh, and, and uh, child life, uh, the, the, the people who do therapeutic and recreational play with the children uh, because they're um, isolated uh, in, in, in a hospital room uh, for a month or more uh, and, and need to be nurtured during that time period. It can be a very difficult and lonely time for, uh, uh, for children. So the psychological support is key, excellent diligent nursing is key, and experienced staff is, is the key to this. You, you don't want um, novices uh, doing these transplants. You need an experienced director, you need experienced staff. So the procedure is probably as good as the team? Uh, exactly. The, the, the technology is available to anybody who wants to avail themselves of it, uh, but you need to know how to do it. Thank you very much. You're welcome.